morning everyone, it's King Sloth back with another video. I thought, do you know what, today I'd get the camera on a bit more and show you what happens day to day. At the minute, the wife and daughter upstairs still asleep, so I'm in charge this morning, I'm in charge down here. Don't knock the, uh, the leopard print dressing gown either. So pretty much, I've just walked around told you up the kitchen, getting that all sorted. Got the Christmas music on, yes. We've been playing it mo a month. Literally, I've got my son now. He's sat there. He's eating a a a, but, a buttery but buttery, which I'd never seen at all until I moved to Scotland. Literally. Have you finished tidying up? Have I finished tidying up? I'm almost done, mate. Yeah, he wants me to look for his tablet because. Tablet, tablet, tablet! I love tablet. He loves tablets. He's constantly asking for uh, the phone at the minute because he likes to play Pokemon games on it. But I love Pokemon Unite! He loves Pokemon Unite. But yeah, um, I'm not sure what we're going to do today. And I love dance parties. And he loves dance parties. <laughs> and I love my class. Awesome. So I'm not sure what we're doing today. I know we're going to get ready soon, and wake and everyone up. And, and, and I got ready for And then. So I had to turn the camera on, he's got, he's got no clothes on. And then um, I think we're going to go out today, do a bit of shopping, explore again. Um, we moved to Lozimuth recently, so we've still got a lot of exploring to do, I think. But yeah, uh, we're going to go now, as soon as he finishes eating his buttery, uh, we're going to go and get dressed, get everyone up. And we're going to have a good start to the day. I See you in the next. I uh, love that. He loves Dad. I like that. But I'll see you in the next clip. And we're back. Yeah, uh, Scotland's still... Oh, it's a bit dirty, actually. Let's go and put that on this morning. Scotland still uh, use, use masks. I didn't realise that until I moved here. But yeah, we still use masks. And I just got, went to Cork to have a quick look round. But it's the first place I've ever seen, like... G GPS stakes. In case someone robs them. Like we've got... And look at all this different stuff. We've got a bit of some some mini sausages. Could you might not be able to see that because it's in reverse. It's called Wee Willy Winkies. Skinless sausages. Obviously, you've got the standard haggis everywhere. And I didn't realise that how much the Scots actually love iron brew. I didn't believe it. Until I came to the first shop when I moved in. Iron brew here. All this iron brew, iron brew, iron brew. Look, most most of the drink oil is iron brew. It's insane. I'm sorry, I'm just one this person. Oh, no, it's two. Put the camera as well. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna get that. I'll have a quick little round, see what I can find. But yeah, I'm actually enjoying myself here so far. We look, we look to go into like a garden center sort of thing, but uh, it's shut. Uh, apparently it's shut till the end of next year. Well, the end of the year. Uh, reopening again in February apparently. I was like, oh, okay, that's great. Where else is open? Everyone's like, nah. Because of COVID, a lot of places are still shut. Which is a bit, bit annoying, especially when the weather's bad and you just want to take the kids out for like um, like a day out somewhere where they can go inside and have a play. Uh, not if it's open. So, it's one of them. We continue. Uh, I think we're going to go on a walk somewhere before the rain starts to tip it down. But yeah, see you on the next clip. So right now we are literally in Elgin now doing shopping. The wife just went into New Look next. I think we've got B&M and Asda left so we can get the food shop and different things we need. We're going to be having like a little Halloween party later apparently, so we're putting on like Halloween films, getting some sweets, popcorn, all that good stuff. Let's have a relaxing evening, but yeah, I'll probably do the next check-in when we're back at home. 
uh, or when I'm walking the dog later on, more like taking for a walk to the beach, show you the scenes. But yeah, like an hour and a half, almost two hours clothes shopping, and we still got to get the food shop yet. Yeah, I'm living the dream. And we're now back home, finally. Picked up a couple of things, and I'll probably show you one later on when I'm upstairs, because my, uh, my wife didn't like the way our room looked, so she thought, you know what, I'm gonna change it around and buy a different little couple of things to make it look better, because uh, she wasn't happy with it. So pretty much now, uh, didn't end up doing the food shopping. We ended up literally just um, doing New look next, B and M, and that was like near enough three and a half hours shopping, and then obviously we had the walk on top of that for an hour, like four and a half hours, and we still didn't end up doing the food shopping. So literally, my wife just just drove out to go to the co-op to get some pizza, because we we don't have a lot of food, a lot of meals that you can actually make with the stuff that we've got in the house. So really, quite unproductive, really, <laughs> apart from like getting different bits and pieces of the house and going on a walk with the kids. Not a lot has been done, really. Uh, tomorrow we've managed to get booked into a play area. It's the first time we've actually managed to get booked in anywhere. Uh, I think it's like an hour and a half drive to get there. I think that it's like an hour or two slot to play. Uh, for those who don't know, my, my daughter has autism. My son has ADHD. My son will sprint round the play area from start to finish. He will literally be dripping by the time he gets out. Whereas my daughter will have like a good, I don't know, like 10 minute play. And she's like, oh, I've had enough, I've had enough, I'm done, I'm done. She gets like over-sensitised with all the people around her. So it's it's one of them. So my son's going to get burnt out. I surround it. Obviously, I've got my other son, the youngest, who's almost one, one in December, who you can just sort of crawl around, ball pits, I'm hoping. But yeah, um, not sure on this Halloween party whether it's actually going to happen, whether we're going to watch some spooky films. But we'll see. We'll see where the day takes us. You've got to tell me what you are. S -s dead school Dead, dead school girl. You spell like a line across your neck, don't you? Ar Arlo, what are you? Pirate! Dead pirate! Dead pirate. And you need not... Okay, they're both... You're both dead. Both dead. And, when, and, when I'm and up, I have Oscar's going to be a pumpkin. <laughs> and that is the Halloween party completed. Uh, I couldn't show you the whole party that we did. We did like apple barbeting, uh, wrapped the money where like we wrapped the kids in in toilet paper. We did like musical bumps, like monster impressions. Ever one got a fucking sweet, all that good stuff. But obviously, my son has a habit of getting naked, so for near enough that whole party had no clothes on apart from when you saw he was trying to his Halloween outfit for tomorrow but yeah um, it's actually been two years since we uh, adopted little Winston from Bosnia Sarajevo two years today since he joined the family and I thought you know what the birthday we went on a little walk earlier just before we went um, into like Elgin town and now I thought you know what? I'm gonna go to the beach and have a little run round before it gets dark, but I'm enjoying living around here. The scenery is amazing, but yeah, this will be the last you hear of me because I'm gonna show like a couple of different beach clips, stuff like that. But it has been King Sloth. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.